Hello my dear friends. Now our topic is about cellular division. If you have any doubts about the cellular division, about the mitosis, meiosis and related to the cellular division, he has been so far classified in this topic and in this video. Yeah, I am sure about this. So now we will go into the topic. It's cellular division. So coming to the first, all the cells are derived from pre-existing cells. This is the point has been confirmed by Rudolf Vikro. He is the one who completed the whole cell theory. Now next, new cells are produced from growth and to replace damaged or old cells. So differs in prokaryotes, which is bacteria. All the bacteria will come under prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Under eukaryotes, you will have protist, fungi, plants and animals. So the cell division will be different in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Next, keeping cell identical. So the instructions for making the cell parts are encoded in the DNA. So because of that, we call the DNA as blueprint of our body. So what, what the cell has to be, how the cell has to be, what the material has to be included, all the things has been encoded in DNA. So each new cells must get a complete set of the DNA molecule. So this is the DNA. Our DNA is double stranded. So each strand is been each strand is been attached to the other strand by hydrogen molecules. Next, DNA replication. DNA must be copied or replicated before cell division. So each new cell will then have an identical copy of the DNA. This will be happen in the mitosis. Exactly in the mitosis, this complete picture will be happening. For example, this is the original strand of the DNA. Through semi-conservative method, the new strands of the DNA has been formed for the daughter cells. For example, this is one parent cell. From this one parent cell, we are getting two daughter cells. The two each daughter cell will share an equal copy of the DNA and an identical set of the DNA. So this is the old part of the parent DNA and this is the old part and these are the new strands of the DNA. In order to know in detail about the DNA replication, please go and check my previous videos about the DNA replication. So that is quite interesting. Next, in this picture it is being clear about this is the parent cell. The parent cell will give rise to two identical daughter cells with the same type and copy of the DNA. Chromosomes. What are the chromosomes? Chromo means color, so means body. So colored bodies. This chromosome is the vocabulary is being used only during the cell division. And normal in the resting cell we use the terminology called chromatin material not the chromosomes. Nothing but Chromatin, chrom, chromatin and chromosomes are almost similar, but chromosomes are the tight packing of the DNA. Chromatin material is somewhat loose packing of the DNA. So the packing will vary based on the packing only. We termed it as chromatin material, here it has chromosomes. And coming to the first prokaryotic chromosome. The DNA of the prokaryotes, nothing but bacteria, is only one circular chromosome attached inside of the cell membrane. So this is the bacteria, right? So this is the bacterial chromosome and this is the plasmid. Plasmid we call it as extra chromosomal DNA. So extra chromosomal circular DNA we will use mostly in genetic engineering. The plasmid is very important as a vector. And next, so this is the size around 1 micrometer. And next, eukaryotic chromosome. All eukaryotic cells store the genetic information in chromosomes. Most eukaryotes are, have between 10 and 50 chromosomes in their body cells. For example, if it is the human body, we have the 46 chromosomes. So eukaryotic chromosomes again, each chromosome is been composed of single tightly coiled DNA molecule and chromosomes cannot be seen when the cells aren't dividing. So that's why we call uh, during that time we call it as chromatin material which is present inside the nucleus. So um, chromatin material is nothing but uncoiled in nature. So if the coiling is been increased, we call it as chromosomes. Next, compact DNA into the chromosomes. How it is being formed? DNA is tightly coiled around the proteins which we call it as histone proteins. And the histone proteins are negatively charged. So we have the linker histone proteins and the octamer of the histone. So core of the 8 histone protein is being wrapped here. And this histone protein we call it as H1. And here we have H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. We have the Two of the each total eight histone proteins is been wrapped and this is the DNA which is encircling this histone proteins and these proteins are positively charged and DNA is negatively charged sorry histone proteins are positively charged and DNA is negatively charged because of that they've been arranged in a tightly compacted nature. 
chromosomes in the dividing cells duplicated chromosomes which we call it as chromatids and are held together by centromere so this is the whole chromosome for this whole chromosome this part we call it as chromatid and this part we call it as chromatid so this two chromatids has been attached in the center by centromere centromere is nothing but a constriction of this chromosome we call it as centromere that's it that is not a separate part part and here we have the dna so this we call it as short arm this is the long arm we have the two chromatids for this single chromosome always the number of the chromosomes will be depicted by number of centromeres here how many chromatids means we have two chromatids and how many chromosomes means we have one chromosome because we have only one centromere and this is one more chromosome and coming to the next this is the karyotype a picture of the chromosomes from a human cell is been arranged in pairs by their size first 22 pairs of the chromosomes we call it as autosomes last pair are the sex chromosomes xx female and xy male so these are the karyotyping karyotyping is nothing but arrangement of the all the pairs of the chromosomes in order to know the number and size and their centromere arrangement this whole thing we call it as karyotyping boy or girl so the y chromosome decides whether the person is boy or girl so if the person is having the y chromosome then he is the boy if the person is absence of the y chromosome then it is the girl so y x y is the boy x x is the girl and the determining factor will always will be the father because he has the y chromosome right so this is the x chromosome x chromosome is very larger and coming to the y chromosome it is very small and cell reproduction so coming into the core topic types of cell reproduction asexual reproduction involves a single cell dividing to make two new identical daughter cells mitosis and binary fission are the examples of asexual reproduction when it is the word asexual means no male and female partners are involving this is the thing we have to know sexual reproduction involves two cells egg and sperm joining to make a new cell which we call it as zygote that is not identical to the original cells so meiosis is an example coming to the cell division in prokaryotes first cell division in the prokaryotes prokaryotic such as bacteria divide into two identicals by a process called binary fission so a single chromosome makes a copy of itself so the cell wall forms between the chromosomes and with the dividing cells so for example this is the parent cell now the chromosome has been replicated nothing but indirectly the dna has been replicated so the dna has been replicated forming the two copies of this parental chromosome now the cell wall is been uh, forming a furrow like method now this furrow is been getting deepened and finally it will be splitting into two identical daughter cells so this are the division of in prokaryotes in prokaryotes the cell division is binary fission so prokaryotic cell undergo binary fission and we also call the prokaryotic division or the bacterial division is a mitosis because there is no any production of spindle fibers because of that also it we call it as a mitotic cell division so coming to the next cell cycle the very important topic so there are five phases of the cell cycle cells why we call it as cell cycle means these are the repeated events going one after the other in a circular fashion because of that we call it as cell cycle and what are the five phases of the cell cycle are g1 phase primary growth phase s phase so g1 means gap 1 s phase synthesis where the dna has been replicated next g2 secondary growth phase collectively these three stages which we call it as interphase in the interphase we have g1 s and g2 and next which we call it as m phase mitotic phase so g we have the interphase and m phase m for mitosis and c for cytokinesis the whole m phase has been divided into again two phases one is karyokinesis other one is cytokinesis karyokinesis means division of nucleus cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm and coming to the next this is the picture major picture about the cell cycle starting initially g1 yes and g2 this will form the 95% of the cell cycle because of that they have depicted very largely so gap 1 s and g2 and next this three together we call it as interphase and next we have the m phase in the m phase we have karyokinesis and cytokinesis and coming to the karyokinesis so cytokinesis uh, 
karyokinesis we have prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase we are going to discuss in detail in the next slides and first interphase what are the events are going to happen in the interphase first it is g1 phase first growth phase after the cell division so the cell mature by making more cytoplasm and organelles during the g1 phase the cell carries on its normal metabolic activities to know about very easily about the g1 stage so what is the cell division means it is a type of metabolism right for a metabolism we needs energy for the energy we we lay we rely on the fuel called carbohydrates proteins fats ribosomes for protein production we need the ribosomes all these things are synthesized in g1 stage that is the clue for g1 stage so for example interphase and again in the interphase s phase s itself will define as synthesis what is the very important thing to be synthesized in the interphase nothing but dna so we call it as synthesis stage dna is copied or replicated during the s stage so this is the original dna we have the two identical copies of the dna this is the event is going to happen next g2 stage after energy and after the main dna synthesis the remaining cell organelles are should be produced in g2 phase that's it so second growth phase occurs after the dna has been copied all the cell structures needed for division are been made for example centrioles both organelles and proteins are synthesized in g2 stage and next what happening in the interphase so once we are going to look once again so what the cell will be look like so the cell will be look like in this manner so this is the whole nucleus inside the nucleus we have the nucleolus and this is the chromatin material has to be replicated the replicated chromatin material has been replicated we have the nuclear membrane and we have the asters asters are nothing but this came from centrosomes so centros the cent sorry centrioles so centrioles replicate and the animal cells only will have this and along with the the lower plants and what has been occurred is the dna will replicates centrioles if present they will replicate and cell prepares for the division this is the whole thing will be happening during interphase and next stretch the cell cycle so what happens in each one g1 the cells will mature in the s phase the dna is copied in the g2 the cell will prepare for cell division and again during the mitotic phase nothing but m phase so first initially karyokinesis in the karyokinesis is been again divided into prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase you can remain pmat prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase and finally you have the cytokinesis this is the whole stretch of the cell cycle and next first mitosis mitose means thread like formation because of that only they call it as mitosis means process so thread like formation in the process because of that they named it as mitosis why we call it as a mitotic division in the prokaryotic cell means because there is no any formation of thread like formation there is no any centriole replication or any spindle fiber formation because of that only they call it as a mitosis so what is mitosis division of nucleus and also call it as karyokinesis only occurs in eukaryotes have four stages doesn't occur in some of the cells so coming to the first so this is the picture which will depict about the initial of the mitosis so this is the prophase metaphase sorry prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase right prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase pmat coming to the first so we have already seen this prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so these are the pictures so early prophase now what happens in the early prophase so early prophase the chromatin in the nucleus condenses to form a visible chromosome mitotic spindle is been formed from a cytoskeleton or centrioles so this is the things will be happen in the prophase so first prophase is a preparatory means the chromatin the visible chromosomes has been formed and the mitotic spindle so for the needed and next late prophase the nuclear membrane and nucleolus will break down so the chromosomes will continue to be condensing and very clearly visible so the spindle fibers called the kinetochores attach it to the centromere of each chromosome so the spindle finishes forming between the poles of the cell so i'll explain you the whole picture again so what happens initially is in the late prophase the nuclear membrane and nucleolar will disappear 
so this is the picture which shows that the chroma the chromosomes are more darkly stained more visible than in the early prophase and the spindle fiber is been attached to the kinetochore so this is the kinetochore fiber so to this kinetochore kinetochore is nothing but a protein and the centromere is a constriction on this centromere we have a one more protein for the attachment of spindle fibers so this we call it as kinetochore and first so review of the prophase again what and the, what and all the it will happen in the prophase means so the condensation of the chromatin material into chromosomes tightly packed chromosomes will be happened in the prophase once it has to come into the cytoplasm for coming the chromosomes into the cytoplasm the nucleolus and nucleolar material has to be disappeared that will be happened in late prophase these are the two major events will be happen in the in the prophase nothing but the nuclear membrane disintegrates and nucleolus will disappear chromosomes will condense mitotic spindle will begin to form and is completed at the end of the prophase so the kinetochore core begins to mature and attaches to the spindle fibers this is the what happening in prophase spindle fibers what are the spindle fibers the mitotic spindle fibers form from the microtubules in the plants and centrioles in animal cells in the animal cells and the lower plants only the centrioles will be replicated presence of centrioles and from this centrioles only the spindle fibers is been originated this is very important in the higher plants there is no formation of there is no presence of centrioles so there is spindle fiber formation will be there but that is not from the centrioles in the higher plants so that centrioles will be formed that spindle fibers will be formed from the cytoskeleton in the higher plants next polar fibers the polar fibers extend from one pole of the cell to the opposite pole kinetochore fibers extend from the pole of the centromere of the chromosome to which they attach asters are nothing but short fibers radiating from the centrioles asters means star so if you see the spindle fibers it looks like a star like appearance because of that they call it as asters so in this picture we can able to see this is the centriole so the centriole is right angledly arranged the centriole is been right angledly arranged from this the spindle fibers has been developed so these spindle fibers is been attached to the kinetochore to the either side of the chromosome right and these are one more spindle fibers extending all the directions and this we call it as aster means star shaped here we have the kinetochore here we have the mitotic center nothing but centrosome in the inside the centrosome we have the centriole that centriole will produce the spindle fiber and this are this is these are the polar microtubules so the spindle fiber is nothing but microtubules next metaphase so what is metaphase m for middle you remember this m for middle so the chromosomes attached to the kinetochore fiber move to the center of the cell so the chromosomes are now lined up at the equator so nothing but all the chromosomes are been lined up at the equator this has been this is the characteristic feature of metaphase m for middle you remind that so we have these are the chromosomes and here we have the centrioles asters we have seen in the previous picture and this is the metaphase metaphasic plate this we call it as equatorial plate or metaphasic plate and these are the spindle fibers so and these are the pole of the cell so this is one pole and this is one pole and coming to the next so this is the picture of showing microscopic picture asters at the pole these are the asters at the pole two asters and these are the chromosomes lined up at the equator and these are the spindle fibers and next so coming to the one more picture we have the asters and we have this chromosomes at the equator and review of the metaphase what happens in the metaphase is cyto sorry kinetochores will attach and the chromosomes of the mitotic spindle and align them along the metaphasic plate at equator of the cell this is the whole thing will be happened during this phase and anaphase coming to the anaphase a for away so occurs rapidly so it will occur after the metaphase after the center alignment the chromosomes will split into two equal halves so the sister chromatids are pulled apart to the opposite poles of the cell by kinetochore fibers this is the thing will happen in anaphase so this is the picture microscopic picture about the anaphase the sister chromatids being separated next anaphase review so what happens in the anaphase 
the centromeres divide into two. So the spindle fibers pull the sister chromatids to opposite poles of the cell. Each pole, the future daughter cell, is now as an identical set of the genes. And one more important thing, for example, if it is in the metaphase, there are, for example, we have how many chromosomes are there here? Means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If it is in the metaphase, it will be only four because there is no any splitting of the centromere is happened there. Now the centromeres has been splitted. Now the number of chromosomes in the anaphase is eight. If it is in the metaphase, it is four. Next telophase. Sister chromatids at the opposite poles. T for two. You remember that. So the two after the anaphase, it will be forming two separate nucleus. So the spindles will disassemble, di disassembles, and nuclear envelope will form around the set of the sister chromatids. Nucleolus will reappear. Cytokinesis will occur, and the chromosomes will reappear as chromatids. The whole whatever the process is happened in the prophase, you reverse that process in the telophase. That is the whole thing in telophase. So that is very easy. If you know the prophase, the telophase will be very easy. Comparison between the anaphase and telophase. So kinetochore and microtubules shorten and separating the chromosomes to opposite poles. Here, the chromosomes reach to the poles of the cell. Kinetochores will disappear. Polar microtubules continue to elongate, preparing the cell for cytokinesis. So here, the polar microtubules will elongate, prepares the cell for mito, kino, uh, sorry, cytokinesis. The nuclear membrane reforms and the nucleolus will reappear and the chromosome will decondense. Nothing but forming a chromatin material. On condensation, the chromatin material is being formed as chromosomes. On decondensation, the chromosome will be formed it as chromo chromatin material. Next, cytokinesis means division of the cytoplasm division, division of cytoplasm. So the division of the cell into two identical half of this called daughter cells. In plant cells, the cell plate formation at the equator to divide the cell because the plant cell will have the cell wall. So the cell plate formation has to be takes place in the plant cells. In animal cell, the cytokinesis is a method of cleavage furrow method to split the cells. So in this picture, so this is the cleavage furrow method. This takes place in animal cell. Here the cell plate formation will takes place. This is in plant cell. So this is the cell plate. And here it is cleavage furrow method. In the future, this furrow will be deepened and it will separate the two identical cells. So coming to the mitotic stages again, prophase, condensation of the chromosomes, disappearance of nuclei and nuclear membrane, quite opposite to the telophase. So daughter cells of the mitosis have the same number of the chromosomes as each other and the parent cell will form which they were formed, identical to each other but smaller than the parental cell must grow in size to become a mature cells, nothing but G1 of the interface. It will grow in size in the future. So identical daughter cells. So here we have the chromosomal number of the same, but the cells are smaller than the parental cell. So this is the parental cell. So which is the 2N? For example, the parent cell is been starting with 2N and the daughter cells is also 2N and 2N. So same set of the chromosomes will be there. For example, if the parent cell is 46, and the daughter cells also 46 and 46. The ploidy will not change. So coming to the review of the mitosis again. So name of the mitotic stages. So we have, so this is interface. From the interface, in the interface we have G1, S and G2, right? We have the prophase. Next, we have, so interface and M phase. This whole thing is divided into two phases, right? So coming to the interface, we have G1, S and G2. Next, coming to the M phase, mitotic phase. We have karyokinesis and cytokinesis. In the karyokinesis, we have TMAT. So, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And next, we will get the cytokinesis. So, pro means first. So, first and all, what are the events will be happen in the first means? Disappearance of the, sorry, uh, disappearance of the nucleolus and nuclear membrane and condensation of the chromatin material to chromosomes. Metaphase, middle alignment of the chromosomes. Anaphase, away. So pulling away the, of the chrom chromosomes and splitting of the centromeres will be happened in anaphase. At telophase, forming the two separate nucleus will be happened quite opposite to prophase, the events. So I hope you all got the point about the mitotic stages. So thank you very much. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.